Hey yo, Kurt Decker here, TC Running Co. We have three questions with Mike Ambrose of Solomon. Question number one is, what is the best Solomon adventure you have been on since you worked for the company? Best Solomon adventure, geez. Um, has it be running related or not? No, it can be just any kind of thing, so. I think uh, just recently we were in Greece together as a team, uh, kind of lined up uh, the next year, year and a half of planning. Nice. And that was a pretty cool adventure. You know, um, it's not every day you get to jump in the Aegean Sea with your with your colleagues with a couple no. bottles of wine and, um, <laughs> and and be working. So nice. I think that that was really cool. But nice. no, I mean, I've gotten to go run in the Alps and run all over this, okay. this country. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I, geez, it's endless. I mean, yeah. Yeah, endless adventures. Yeah, that that's kind of a theme with Solomon, isn't it? Yeah, endless yeah. adventures. Endless so, adventures, yeah. Heck yeah. So question two, what is your personal favorite piece of Solomon gear? Like if you could only have one piece of gear, yeah. Yeah. what would it be? Yeah, so I actually, I talk about this a lot with some friends, mm -hmm. uh, especially friends of Solomon, and we talk about like what would be the, the you know, the world's gonna end tomorrow, like what are you taking with you? And it'd be a sense, either a sense six or a sense six soft ground from the S Lab. I mean, I love S Lab footwear. Uh, it's it's just the best to me. It's I really I can't explain it. It's just I feel that it's the absolute best. And yeah, um, sometimes you just feel it. It's just a, you know, it's like yeah, it's like sometimes you can really elaborate what makes you love something, and other times you just love it. Yeah. yeah so S Lab sense, you know, I I feel like if the world was ending, yeah. I had to take one shoe with me. Um, and I had to run fast through a variety of terrain, it would be, yeah. <laughs> although I'm probably not trying to run too fast. It's yeah. probably, the end yeah. of the world is probably more of an ultra. It's true. It is a uh, sprint. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, and my last question of the three questions is going to be, it, what if you could pick, what would be your dream race to do as an athlete? Now we're looking at it as like, as someone who loves the sport and participates, what would be that dream race? Yeah, so dream race for me is definitely, you know, a race that exists is Zagama, for sure. Yeah. You know, Zagama, yeah. as we just saw the Golden Trail series, yeah. amazing. You know, it's uh, it's everything, the ambiance, it's technical, it's, it's yeah. steep, it's it's competitive, it's it's beautiful, it's, you know, in a beautiful part of the world. And okay. But, you know, I think if if that wasn't, like, if I could do something just by itself, you know, and that not a race, it'd definitely be some sort of high route through the Alps, you know, or, um, yeah, high route through the Alps, the Tagging Peaks, you know, but yeah, pure race. Zagama. Zagama is Zagama and it's, it's, yeah. If you want to know what he's talking about, go on YouTube and look up Zagama. There's some epic races, so. All right, that's three questions.